Hi, welcome to this video where we're going to use collections to represent our fractions and to add fractions with different denominators. So in previous videos, we've used area models and number lines to be able to add fractions and to get their denominators to be the same. Let's have a look at how we can use a collection. So by a collection, I'm talking about one in every two. Half of the counters, the collection of counters, are red. Over here, for a third, one in every three of the counters is red. So we can see here, we've got a half, and we would represent that, just as we've said above, one in every, yeah. <laughs> And over here, one in every three equal parts. What we've got here are different holes. This hole has two counters, a collection of two. This uh, hole has three. And so because the, the holes are different, we can't do much with them as they are. But what we can do is represent a half with a larger collection. And this time, you can see that it's two in every four counters are red. And that is equivalent to one in every two. So two quarters, we know, is the same as one half. Again, the holes are different. Here the hole has four counters, here the hole has three counters. So we're going to need to, once again, see if we can change these holes. This time, we've got two in every six. Two sixths, we know, is equivalent to one third. But again, the holes are different. This one has four, this one has six. We can't do anything as far as adding them or comparing them goes. So we keep increasing our hole. This time we've got three in every six. We know that three six is the same as one half. But what we can also see now is that our holes are the same. So we're comparing the same holes. Here we have three sixths and we're now comparing that to our two sixths. And we can see that we have a bigger fraction here, three six, three in every six is larger than two in every six. So we could have compared them. But also now we can add the fractions. We've got them with the same denominators. And if the students have had plenty of experience adding their area models, they'll know that three six plus two six is going to give us a total of five sixths. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave comments um, on what you think and how it would work. Love to hear them. And check out our other videos by subscribing to our channel. Thank you.